Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Christine and you are really welcome to this uh, family. If you are a returning, thank you so much guys for always coming back to watch my content. So I'm still in the village and uh, I'm just trying to view uh, the garden behind our ha behind, behind the house and there are some purples here that have really grown but they are still not yet ripe. Yeah, you can see how beautiful full it is they didn't uh, plant anything this time so the land is just bare yeah so it's in the evening and uh, we want to go and stroll around the village so i thought of um, taking you along so that you can see how beautiful this uh, village is it really rained during the, uh, the the morning hours so we had to wait for the rain to stop and you can barely see uh, water on the road because the sand here uh does not retain uh, water yeah so there's no mud there's nothing the area is already dry despite the fact that the uh it rained in the morning and uh, until 1 p.m so uh this is the school i had shown you these are their dormitories it's right now a boarding school and uh yeah that is their backyard their the back side of the dormitories so this area is called milimani side of this town and uh, people have really built here very nice homesteads just that you can't see uh, the homes inside but like this gate here uh, this uh, home is really beautiful and uh, full of trees the area is also green and um, compared to other parts of uh, this town because it's surrounded by the lake yeah so um, that is why I land here land in this milimani area is very expensive of course any milimani area in any town you know guys uh, it's usually very uh, expensive so this area land is expensive one because it's surrounded by the lake so it's greener two it's uh, a walking distance from the from town yeah so it's like a 10 7 to 10 minutes walk to town yeah that is why it's uh very very expensive here so we were walking uh just being directed to where we wanted to go we wanted first to see some parcel of land that is just around the lake on this other side so that's why we were confused where whether to go downwards or past this other uh, route here but then i decided to go straight down so that you can see the lake on this other side before we go uh, to the other route yeah so you can see the lake from here uh it's actually surrounded all surrounded and uh, down here there are no many houses uh the area is uh scarcely populated down here so and uh, people are have their little homesteads here uh, but uh there's there's still some parcels of land that haven't still been um, put into use She looks deep into my eyes, her mind silent. The problems in her head pile up. Again and again, she tells me how sick she is. Everything is so hard for her. Why don't you just tell me? Everything could be so simple, but you want to make it difficult for yourself, for yourself, for yourself. For yourself, for yourself Why don't you just tell me Everything could be so simple But you want to make it difficult For yourself, for yourself, for yourself For yourself, for yourself, for yourself. I will take your heart Count the time of love until it is Take your heart, girl. 
So uh, this is where we were coming and uh, we are almost here. So we are just on phone uh, just to make sure that we don't get lost. We wanted to see the exact place, uh, the exact piece of land where it is. And we found out that it was it was just extremely expensive. And this is the area. Yeah, This is what we were instructed. Uh, it, is in, it is situated in a very good place you can see the lake just after the rentals yeah those are the rentals in front of this land and uh, the land is big it's like uh, two acres and uh, it was costing very expensive it was really really expensive guys because it's just close to the lake just like our homestead is yeah and here it's a very good place to put a home because you will be able to get water and uh, there's also a fishing place just close to this uh, land so you'll also be able to get uh, to get food very easily it's in town yeah actually this place is just town and uh, and you'll also uh, if you want to put water in your homestead you are close to the lake so you can also go and do laundry on the lake because it's very close and you also have a very good view if you do a landscaping uh, of your homestead it will be very beautiful and you'll also be having a very good view and the breeze of the lake that's why i think they exaggerated the price so from there we decided to just uh, take you along this stretch of the lake as we go uh, to town but then on the we decided then to go and uh, climb a certain hill so that we can give you a good view of this area there's all there's always a uh, a hill around here yeah so and this hill uh, people usually climb just to get a good view of the lake so you can see the lake there are some activities uh, going along the lake there are people washing doing doing laundry there and some are bathing yeah i don't want to go close because it's against youtube uh rules i can't show naked people on uh, on camera yeah but uh people are there being busy being very busy uh down there near the tree yeah so that is how uh, the lake is it's around it's going round until uh the marketplace i'll show you later yeah So this is the hill we decided to try clamping. Uh, this water is coming from the top. 
yeah from inside the hill yeah so we decided to climb this uh hill it looks easier guys but it wasn't as easy as i thought because uh, and nowadays i do uh, as i've always told you i do sweat a lot and any strenuous activity makes me sweat so much and i lose breath i don't know why i've gone to hostel but i haven't found a solution to it yeah i did a heart check but uh Apparently, my heart is okay, but uh, whenever I do a very strenuous activities activity, I sweat and I get tired so fast. Yeah, so right here we are just trying to climb the top of the hill. It was so difficult, guys. We tr I tried, but then uh, reaching halfway, I couldn't continue. So there were kids here that um, took us, uh, directed us to. Uh, to a much easier uh, place that uh, I can manage to climb. Yeah, so there, these are the kids uh, that stay around here. So they were uh, they were leading us, and then when I didn't manage, uh, they directed us to, to to the other side of this hill so that I can manage to climb from the other side. I didn't want, I also didn't put on uh, comfortable shoes that will enable me climb. So I think that is why it also became difficult for me. I didn't know that I was going to, I, we were coming to climb this hill. I would have put on very comfortable shoes or even a trouser, but then uh, it just happened that we decided to climb it when passing here. So this is us uh, finding another uh, side of the hill so that we can climb from that side. You can see my shoes are very slippery. They are doll, they are tiny doll shoes. So and this this type of doll shoes are usually very slippery. Uh, it came to a point that I had to remove them so that I can step uh, on these stones well because I was fearing rolling down with these shoes. You know, the accident would have happened. So you need to be cautious. So I just decided to remove the shoes and then climb with my bare feet and I managed later.
finally we managed and uh, here we are at the top of the hill and you can see the lake surrounding the whole area guys yeah this is the lake and see how this homestead is this area is very 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 beautiful guys so Maybe I'll try Spotting and Clyde to the sun Your mind, nothing but time to lose And we'll be running on fumes I know it's on the night And you're gonna love it We've been waiting, waiting slow let's hit the road and make it up as we go oh, let's go oh, baby don't change your mind let's get in trouble so home is just under the trees and the small mansion belongs to my hubby's uncle. She's, he's the one who was built there. Yeah, so it's just around home. Hi guys, uh, we've come on top of um, a mountain, a mountain on a hill. <laughs> on top of a hill and uh, from here you can see the environment so that is the lake round so that is lake victoria yeah and from here you can see the market uh there um Yeah, behind me uh, the market sorry market yeah so this place is called uh, sorry bay yeah so this is where f fishing is done uh, this is part of the area of Lake Victoria where fishing is done so it's called sorry bay and um, the town itself is called sorry and uh, you can see around the lake and uh, there is a market Uh, there is a market there uh, where the, there are a lot of uh, houses just down here. There is a market and then there is some um, boats. I'm not sure if you can see them. No. There are some boats uh, down there. Yeah, there are some boats down there. That is where fishing usually is done and uh, selling of the fish after it's been uh, fished. So that is the lake and then there is this other side. Uh, far, I don't know if you can see. Uh, from this other side, I'm told you can see uh, Migingo Island. It's far, far, further from the lake, yeah. There's an island, there are some two islands three islands there so the biggest one is um, the biggest one is Migingo Island the big Migingo Island and there is the small Migingo Island and the other one Alur yeah it's called Alur Island there's a lot of wind here so we are just relaxing and taking the breeze and uh, hope is where the down there there are many trees uh, there's a school here the school that I've shown you before and then after the school down there under the trees that is where home is yeah so that is the environment hmm? so inside the water you can see the cages yeah there are some small uh, things that look like houses uh, underwater yeah, those are cages, fish cages that uh, the fishermen uh, put so that they can they can do fish farming. Yeah, that is how fish farming is done. Cages are put inside the water so that they can capture fish. So you can see the two tiny, tiny things that look like houses underwater. Yeah, and that is the lake part of Victoria, the Lake Victoria part near home. Yeah. So there are also uh, 
down there you can see there is uh, that is omena that is being sun dried after it's been fished and there are people there washing clothes others are bathing yeah others are bathing others are washing clothes and there's omena there that is sadinsi very nice homesteads that have been built near the lake so those are people's homes they are not uh, hotels or, or something else those are those are people people's homes yeah so those are really uh have really built nice houses around here there is also a small mansion here So we are now approaching the market and uh, you can see uh, how uh, beautiful uh, this uh, lakeside of the market is. These are boats. Yeah, these are boats that are used to fish. So fishing is done in the night and it starts late in the evening uh, uh, throughout the night and uh, very early in the morning too. So these are uh, omenas which are called sardines in English. Yeah, so these are nets that are being used to fish. They, are, uh, they, they, they had um, put those sardines on these nets to dry. That is uh, the sardines that had been fished during uh, early morning. So they have already dried and the business women are just uh, removing them so that they can be able to sell them. And uh, these nets will go back. Actually, fishermen nets will go back to the boats to go and fish here. Yeah. So fishermen will be preparing to fish this evening and uh, the business ladies are just winding up, uh, removing their their omenas so that they can be able to sell them. They actually, after they have been taken from the lakeside, they are put here to dry. Yeah, they sell them to the ladies, business ladies, and then the business ladies put them here to dry after they have dried they just remove them and they take them to the markets yeah so this is where we normally come to buy fresh fish or fresh omenas yeah this is the site that we come to buy it's just in the market just that it is uh it is specifically meant for fishing this area is specifically meant for uh fished products is it fished products? <laughs> it's basically meant for fish and omenas. Yeah, and this is Nile patch. It's being weighed, weighed, and this is two kgs. Nile patch apparently this time round is very expensive. I didn't even manage to buy some because uh, it was extremely expensive this time round because the there were there was a lot of rain. Uh, in this area. So these containers are used to store uh, leftover fish. Yeah. So when they fish a lot of uh, fish, uh, they store the remaining in these containers for the next day. And this carries uh, around 50 kgs, 500 kgs, if I'm not wrong. I'm not sure. Yeah. But uh, this is what they, 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 they use to put in fish yeah so see how this fish is this boy was just going to sell this fish he has he he has just removed them from the water so he's going to sell so that he can get some money and buy some something else for himself so here kids also fish using those uh uh fishing those sticks yeah they they have their own way of fishing they don't use boats huh? they use the the simplest way 
of putting hooks in the in the lake and the fish. So there are also these buildings. So these buildings are ice ice buildings and they store fish here. Yeah. So instead of fish getting spoiled, this is where they store the they freeze fish yeah so this all these buildings are used to freeze fish i didn't manage to go there because it was the weather was also changing so maybe next time when i come back in august i can go inside and uh, we can see how they store fish there and what how they have built inside uh this uh houses how it's constructed and uh, convenient for fish storage yeah we will visit that place next time yeah so we're just passing through the market because uh, right now we decided to go uh, to another uh, restaurant that is coming up it's alongside the it's alongside the lake yeah i wanted to go have a uh, dinner there so i decided to we decided to go it was actually right now it's uh, it was five it was 4 30 or 5 p.m so we wanted to go and just have dinner there and so we can just go home maybe take tea and then sleep yeah so let's get there So this is the place uh, that we were coming to. It's situated alongside the lake. So guys, the left side of my hand, the whole area, uh, this place are, it are homesteads and then they are alongside the lake. So I told you this lake is, surrounds the whole of this uh, town. So uh, this area is, this, um, this hotel is upcoming. Yeah, and uh, I think by December it will look, it will really look nice and be it will really be beautiful because they are trying to put a uh, kids area and then there is uh, a restaurant, there are different amenities that will be here. It's very beautiful and see it's located alongside the lake. So you it's fenced so that um, the water, the kids can't go past that fence. Yeah, and you can see how beautiful it is. So we had uh, waves here and it was uh, really amazing. This is where I decided to sit and just have fish with Ugali before I go back. Do you want a home from here?
Sana huko At this time my phone went off and so this became the end of my content creation so thank you guys for watching uh, let me see you in my next one i think my next video will be my last village vlog and uh, yeah thank you so much for being here uh, please like share leave a comment and see you in my next video goodbye guys love you all